Hello and welcome to the Daily Visual Bible. I'm Robbie Yates. As I read through Deuteronomy, I'm reminded that we are reading through the last words that Moses ever spoke. We are led to believe that we have been with Moses since the beginning of the Bible, since it is thought that he was the one God spoke the history of the Genesis to. In short, we are slowly saying goodbye to an old friend who we have been travelling with for nearly the whole of the past six months. We read in Deuteronomy chapter 3 today, let us open God's word of prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, that you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people hear your word, they come to better understanding of you. Amen. Now we turned and went up the way to Bashan. Og the king of Bashan came out against us, he and all his people, to battle at Edrei. He always said to me, don't fear him, for I have delivered him, with all his people and his land, into your hand. You shall do to him as you did to Shion, king of the Amorites, who lived at Hezbron. So Yahweh our God delivered into our hand Og, also the king of Bashan, and all his people. We struck him, until no one was left to him remaining. We took all his cities at that time. There was not a city which we didn't take from them. Sixty cities, all the region of Argob, the kingdom of Og in Bashan. All these were cities fortified with high walls, gates and bars, besides a great many villages without walls. We utterly destroyed them, as we did to Shion king of Hezbon, utterly destroying every inhabited city, with the women and the little ones, all the livestock, and plunder the cities we took for plunder for ourselves. We took the land at that time, out of the hand of the two kings of the Amorites, who were beyond the Jordan, from the valley of the Arnon to Mount Hermon, the city and Ides called Hermon, Syrian, and the Amorites called it Sinir. We took all the cities of the plain, and all Gilead, and all Bashan, to Shalkar and Edri, cities of the kingdom of Og in Bashan. For only Og, king of Bashan, remained of the remnants of the Rephiam. See, his bedstead was a bedstead of iron. Isn't it in Urebar, the children of Ammon? Nine cubits was its length, and four cubits its width, after the cubits of a man. This land we took in possession at that time, from our heir, which is by the family of the Arnon and after the hill country of Gilead and its cities, I gave it to the Ubenites and to the Gadites, and the rest of Gilead, and all Bashan, the king of Morag, I gave to the half-tribe of Manasseh, or the region of Argob, even all Bashan. The same is called the land of Raphaim, to Ai, the son of Manasseh, to go the region of Argob, to the border of the Geshurites, and the Marketites, and called them, even Bashan, after his own name, Havoth Jair to this day, and gave Gilead to my care. To the Ubenites and to the Gadites, I gave from Gilead, even to the valley of the Arnon, the middle of the valley and its border, even to the river Jabok, which is the border of the Judah of Ammon, the Arabah also, and the Jordan and its border, from Shinai Ref, even to the sea, or the Arabah, the Salt Sea, under the slopes of Peshkar eastward. I commanded you at that time, saying, Yahweh your God has given you this land to possess it. You shall pass over armed before your brothers, the children of Israel, or the man of valour. But your wives, and your little ones, and your livestock, and no that you have much livestock, shall live in your cities, which I have given you. Until Yahweh gives rest to your brothers, as to you, and they also possess the land which Yahweh your God gives them beyond the Jordan, then you shall each return to his own possession, which I have given you. I commanded Joshua at that time, saying, Your eyes have seen all that Yahweh your God has done to these two kings. So shall Yahweh do to all the kingdoms where you go over. You shall not fear them, for Yahweh your God himself fights for you. I begged Yahweh at that time, saying, Lord Yahweh, 
You have begun to show your servant your greatness and your strong hand. For what God is there in heaven or on earth that can do works like yours and mighty acts like yours? Please let me go over and see the good land that is beyond the Jordan and that fine mountain and Lebanon. But Yahweh was angry with me for your sakes, then listen to me. He always said to me, Let this satisfy you. Speak no more to me of this matter. Go up to the top of Pishkar, and lift up your eyes westward, and northward, and southward, and eastward, and see with your eyes, for you shall not go over this Jordan. But commission Joshua, and encourage him, and strengthen him, for he shall go over before this people. And he shall cause them to inherit the land which you shall see. So we stayed in the valley near Beth Peor. Thank <laughs> you.